Welcome to the Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware. This is Boiler University instructor Jude Wolf, and we are two weeks later from our last episode. We haven't changed clothes. We've been wearing the same clothes for two weeks. I always uh, wear the same clothes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, what we did last time is we actually talked about the water that was coming in, uh, you know, from our city water coming in, and we went through the entire operation getting the getting it to the boiler. Now today we're going to heat that water up. And we obviously need to start with something coming in from the city, if you will, and that's gas. Yep, you gotta start with gas. Um, sometimes that's the end result, but yeah, that's here true. we're starting with the gas. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, so we got our city supply, we've got a fuel metering system here so we can actually see how much fuel we're burning. Handy little tool. So our gas line comes down, we've got a manual shutoff valve, so that's we're using that for lockout, tag out. If we have any questions about the safety of the boiler, we can always close that. Now we talked real quick, we talked about um, the feed water and pressure. Yeah. Um, how important is pressure with gas? Oh yeah, gas is pretty important um, and the pressure is critical because if we've got too much pressure, obviously we could have a malfunction in the gas train. If we don't have enough, we're not going to make enough heat to do the job. So. Yeah, it's good to have a gauge on the inlet of the building. We don't have one local here, but we've got one right on the outlet of the meter mm. to verify that. Um, we actually, going through our shutoff valve, do have an inlet pressure gauge here. So that that's a gauge, not a switch. So that's not a safety, per se, but it's something we want to look at, make sure it's normal. Because, you know, if your boiler's rumbling in the winter and you look, you may have insufficient gas pressure because mm. everybody's pulling down the main. So sure. as it's getting cold, we're going to need, you know, that's something that could affect your system. Sure. Um, but we do have safeties on here because gas is flammable. We need to regulate it, make sure it stays within safe limits. So we've got a low gas pressure switch and a high gas pressure switch. And the auto flame system actually has a sensor so we can actually get an analog value of what our gas is doing at any time and mm -hmm. help you troubleshoot and whatnot. As well as prove yeah. some gas Yeah, proving. and it also does valve, uh, gas and valve proving. Mm -hmm. So we've got safety shutoff valves and a vent valve. So, so that three double block and vent is what allows us to just basically guarantee we're not getting gas in the burner when we don't want okay. gas in the burner because if we fill the combustion chamber up with gas, we, we've got a, a bad scenario there. Vent, pretty um, important. So yeah, the vent, you know, it goes through the roof. We need to make sure it doesn't fill with water. You know, stuff goes wrong with the vent too. True. So True. Um, we need to keep an eye on those things. We've also got a smaller pilot gas line because we always start a big fire with a little fire. You know, everything starts with a match. You know, start with a minor increment and build your way up. So our main fuel valves, we've got another shutoff valve. That shutoff valve gives us the ability to test all these components mm. with, uh, without the risk of gas going into the burner. So if we need to, to change an actuator and, and verify that it opens or something like that, if we have that closed, we're guaranteeing we're not sitting gas downstream to the burner. Okay, so why don't we go around uh, the front of the boiler yeah. here. So we're at the front of the boiler and now we have the gas that's getting to the burner. Now whether it's a limbs field or a power flame, Gas pressure is important. These things want a certain pressure, if I'm yes, saying that correctly. Yes, that's correct. You're going to need a certain amount of pressure to make rate or burn at the advertised BTU input. And if you don't have enough, it's going to be um, below the boiler's capacity. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be just enough. It doesn't have to be enough. It has to be just right. So, mm. you know, your high gas pressure, your low gas pressure, the sensors, all those are about getting the exact amount of gas that we need for whatever heat input we're looking for. Okay. Um, so we've got a modulating valve down here, um, a butterfly valve that throttles the gas according to the flow, because sure. it's like your car, it's not on off. If you drive with your foot mashed down or the ignition off, you know, your car's not gonna last long. So we modulate the firing rate as we need the heat. Um, okay. To burn that gas, we're gonna need air. Um, so we've got an air inlet assembly here because we're bringing room air, we're mixing it with the gas in the burner for burning. And mm. um, well, something too with this air that's so important is that it also kind of cleans out all the gas that can be in a, into a boiler. That's well. correct, yeah. Before we ever light the burner, we're gonna run that air and that basically is just evacuating any gas that could be bleeding through. Typically, that's not a problem, but for safety's sake, we always start off with uh, you know, a good purge on the boiler before a light off. 
Right. So this thing gets fired up and now we are going down the Morrison tube and we are creating steam. Yeah, we're heating the metal, the metal's heating the water, the water's heating the world. And up here is our uh, yep. steam that's actually going into the plant. Yep, we got our steam takeoff. That's usually the big pipe coming off the top. Uh huh. Yeah, that is usually. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, it's actually going to the plant and you actually have shut off valves, of course, right there. One of the things I do want to touch real quick is um, just some safeties, if you will, and on top of the boiler or in the system, there's a there's sure. relief valves that's protecting for the pressure. Sure. If there's one thing about boilers, it's gotta have its safeties. We talked about the low gas, mm -hmm. high gas pressure. Well, this is a pressure vessel, so it's got its own limitations as well. So we're gonna have operating pressure limits, high pressure limits, and then we're gonna actually gonna have vent valves that will dump, uh, relief, uh, relieve that steam if, uh, for some reason everything goes wrong and it fires more than it needs to, it's gonna dump that steam out the roof to a safe point of discharge. You know, controlling mm. all those, all those limits and switches come back to mm. a flame safeguard sure. control because you gotta have a brain in charge of the operation and, and Richie's not gonna stand around here all day and tell it what to do. So we no, gotta I, have a control to do it. I wouldn't and, know what uh, to tell it. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> so there's scanner components, um, there's air switches, there's water level, there's just a whole variety of things. The sure. neat thing about this is it's checking every single one of those multiple times a second. I just don't have that attention span. Yeah, well so. they can check all the boiling points and all the different yeah, weekly boiler true. tips that you do to really get into some detail of some of these things that, um, that, that are just little intricacies of the boiler. So, well uh, Jude, always um, a pleasure. Appreciate all that you do for us. Uh, Jude, Boiler University instructor, make sure you sign up and come and meet this dude because he has got a wealth of knowledge and we'll see you next time on the boiling point well that's a wrap of the entire boiler room system pretty elementary but you can get more as i said go out to our youtube channel go out and search and you will see over 500 videos out there to talk about the boiler system maybe get a little bit more detail um, in some of the things that we talked about today. Appreciate Jude hanging out with us. So like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, share a video. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.